And this is problem number nine in the wastewater collection math book at sewergeek.com. If a sanitary, a 48 inch sanitary sewer carries a flow of 10 mgd, calculate the velocity of flow in feet per second. So we're going to simplify the problem first. Our units are in feet FPS or feet per second, so I'm going to need feet and seconds. So let's get rid of this 48 inch. 48 divided by 12 is going to be 4 feet. So it's a 4 foot diameter sewer. It carries a flow of 10 mgd. I don't want mgd, I want to get that into feet, so I'm going to need the formula cubic feet per second equals 1.55 times mgd or well, we could do that a triangle like I showed in an earlier um, version also if you want so 1.55 times 10 mgd that's easy enough I don't need a calculator for that 15.5 cubic feet per second now the problem's a little easier to read a four foot sewer carries a flow of 15.5 cubic feet per second. Calculate the velocity and flow in feet per second. So there's a couple of formulas we're going to need. Number one, we're going to need to get the area of that sewer. And area, and this is going to be in feet squared equals diameter squared times 0.785. So I'm going to get 4 feet squared times 0.785. And we'll go 4 times 4 times 0.785. And that's going to give me 12.56 feet squared. So now I have one more formula that I need. Another formula that I showed earlier how to remember this. I go feet equals feet times feet. Three, two, one. And put seconds on each end. So that's actually what's Q equals AV. The quantity equals area times velocity. That's another way to write this particular formula. If we want it in feet, that's how we'll do it. So what I get is cubic feet per second, which is 15.5 feet cube per second, equals 12.56 feet squared times feet per second that we don't have. So what I want to do is get feet per second by itself, so it's being multiplied on this side. A lot of times they'll say, well, do the, you know, divide this by 12.56 on both sides. That's fine. I just remember it by just doing the opposite. So I'll take this 12.56 and I'll throw it over here underneath. And you can see feet squared. You're going to end up with feet squared over feet cubed. So you end up with feet per second. That's the way the cancellation is going to end up. And it's going to be just a little bit more than one. So it looks like it's probably going to be D. But let's go ahead and punch it in. So I'm going to take 15.5 divided by 12.56. That's going to give me 1.23. 1.23 feet per second. And that's going to take care of that. And that's going to be D.